Captain Jet 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flint, your weather authority. Here we are at the last weekend of August, and the weather was great. Uh, but uh, the other thing the last, August, last weekend of August brings is the last 8 o'clock sunset, which is tonight. Next time that happens, April 14th, 2023, so 229 days uh, from today. Lots of sun out there right now as we take a look at the myers Benner RV weather camera at the airport. 80 degrees, the humidity, that's going to start to increase. Look at the temperatures tomorrow. It could be up near 90 uh, before cooling down as a cold front comes through by uh, Thursday, September 1st, first day of meteorological fall, barely 70 degrees. So could we hit 90 tomorrow? Yeah, it's possible. So far for the year, we've got five in the books. An average number of 90 degree days in the summer for Erie is about four, and the record amount 17 back in 1988. And we still are running a deficit for this summer, over an inch of rain since June 1st. But when you look at the yearly totals, 25.92, 26.03, pretty much right there. So we're on par in terms of wet weather since January 1st. Check in with the weather watchers tonight. 80s across the map. Uh, tonight, 80 Barron, 82 Waterford, Venango Township, 85 Greenfield, 81 in Northeast and Cory. It's uh, 82 in Union City, Edinburgh at 85, uh, Cranesville Dave at 84, uh, into Crawford County, low 80s, Cambridge Springs, down to Meadville, mid 80s, you make your way towards Youngsville and Chandler's Valley. So high pressure scoots to the east, so we've got that return flow. Uh, coming out of the south tonight, so that's going to usher in the higher heat and humidity. You can see showers and thunderstorms breaking out along and ahead of a cold front that's going to approach during the day tomorrow. I don't think we have anything to really worry about until late in the day. You can see showers and thunderstorms bubble up as we get into late afternoon, into the evening, and tomorrow night a round of downpours and storms coming through and likely continuing into your Tuesday uh, as well. Again, the tropics really starting to heat up here. And as we go towards the peak, this area right here, by the way, the, the peak of the hurricane season just a few weeks away, and uh, we're likely going to see the tropics become more active here in the coming days. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore tonight. It is warm for August. Lows not dropping much below 70. Areas south of uh, I-90, a mainly clear sky, mild, muggy overnight, lows 65 to 69. And for the Chautauqua, Allegheny region, mainly clear, turning muggier, lows 61 to 65. Seven-day forecast, so up near 90 tomorrow with some late-day storms. Scattered storms likely Tuesday, fresher air arriving Wednesday and barely 70 on Thursday, maybe a spotty sprinkle off the lake, but some great weather heading into the Labor Day holiday weekend. Don't forget to scan the code there, QR, which means quick response. So you just take a picture of that and it'll instantly bring you right to us. That's incredible. That's 70 degrees. I know some people love Presque Isle when it's hot, but when it gets kind of closer to fall, that's when some people really love it. Meteorological fall, nerd fall, <laughs> begins uh, Thursday. Alrighty, Craig. Thank yep. you very much. Well, coming up on Jet 24 Action News at 6 o'clock, what happens when you're told you have cancer? Well, this father of two is determined to beat it and is one of the first in recent years to use a treatment from the late 90s to kill it. We'll have the details next in our health report. Tom Atkins, Tom DeVecchio, Craig Flint. Your weather authority on Jet 24 Action News. 